This video shows you how to create an app and connect it to a ClickView document, create a report, schedule your report, and publish your report in Newsstand. When you have installed Click and Printing, open your browser using the URL that includes your server name and port 4993. In this example, because our installation is on the machine we are using, we will use localhost. Log in using the administrator credentials that you established during the installation. To start using Click and Printing, you have to create an app. Give it a name and, if required, a description, and then create a new connection. A connection is a Click and Printing link to a ClickView or ClickSense document. A connection defines the origin of the data for reports, filters, and tasks. The ClickView documents used as click and printing sources can be stored in your local computer, a network shared folder, a ClickView server to which you have permission access, or a ClickView cluster. In this example, we show you how to connect click and printing to a ClickView document. You can find other examples that show how to connect to a ClickSense document. Select the app created previously. In the Document Path box, enter the path to the ClickView document. You have to use the path on the computer where the engine is installed. In this installation, because we have installed all the click and printing components on the same machine, we can copy the file path and add the file name and QVW as the file extension. If a username and password are required to access the ClickView document, Enter them and then click Create. Click and Printing automatically uploads metadata when a new connection is created. You can reload the web page by pressing F5 on the keyboard. The cache status changes from Generating to Generated. When the connection has been created, you can add reports to the app, which can then be distributed to other users. Select the format type and then from the drop down list, select the app you previously created. When you click Create, the Edit Template button is displayed. Click on it to launch Click and Printing Designer. You can design your template using the built-in PixelPerfect or HTML editors, but you need to have Microsoft Office installed if you want to create reports in Excel, PowerPoint, or Word. In this example, we are designing a very simple report by adding the image, Sales by Country. Once finished, we close the template editor and create a new filter. Fill in a name for the filter and then select the app from the list. Select the data connection and then select the field name from the list. If you wish, you can add more fields to the list. You will receive autocomplete suggestions to complete the value fields. When you have finished, you can add a user to whom to send the report. First, you must create this user. Insert a valid email address. Select the username and password, and then select the time zone and language. You can assign a previously created filter to the new user, as well as a role. For this example, we select the Newsstand role, which gives the user access to the newsstand. Now you can create a task to schedule the report. To start, create a task and associate the task with the app. Add the previously created report to this task and choose the output format. You can add multiple conditions to any report or task. 
Reports are generated and tasks are run only when all of their conditions are satisfied. Then select a user to whom to send the report. Next, you can select a filter. Here, we select the country's filter that was created previously. Finally, select the destination. For this task, we select the newsstand. Now we can create a trigger to schedule the report. Here we have chosen weekly. Select a day, a start date, and the time zone. And then click create. You can also select to run the task manually. Now, when you log into the newsstand as the previously created user, you can see the report that was generated. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.